it's 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 very apparent that like this generation or even the previous generation we have softer men and very hard strong masculine women yes and of course um this i won't say it's by design but um this is uh, unfortunately it's the um uh, is one of the effects from you know single motherhood right hi everyone welcome back to my comfy couch we're gonna have another real talk session with me and thaddeus thaddeus say what's up hi everyone <laughs> okay so today i told thaddeus i want to talk about um the removal of gender roles so there seems to be a disconnect between the men and women that I speak to that are single, right? It's like on one hand, it seems like the women were raised, you know, by men and women that would say, oh, you know, you don't need a man for anything. So make sure you go out there, get your education, you know, be somebody of good character. And if, it, if they were religious, like a lot of us grew up, it was like, you know, follow God, follow Christ and have good character and that kind of thing. They weren't really taught or, you know, it wasn't really drilled in them that, okay, you know, a man wants you to look, you know, this kind of way. You got to cook, you got to clean, you got to do all of this, right? Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, it's like a lot of men, it seems, you know, were raised with their mom kind of taking care of them, you know, doing their laundry, cooking and cleaning. So they perceive womanhood as that, right? <laughs> so it's like, okay, when you have two narratives, the girl thinking, okay, I don't need a man, I'm gonna go kick ass at work and all this. And the guy thinking like, okay, well, I see my mom doing all these things, that that's what a woman should be. So now when we're all grown up now, it's like, okay, <laughs> we're not valuing the same thing or looking for the same thing in each other. Um, so the, my question is, to me, this being the state of dating now, if you're in your, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, how can we bridge kind of that gap? How can we get together and still, you know, get on the same page? So what do you think that is? Mm, what do I really think? Oh, Lord. I know you're going to always tell me what you really think. <laughs> well, actually, I actually don't tell you what I really think. Because if I, oh, I, I give you the watered down version, all right? Oh, Lord. So I, I'm going to give you just a little bit more this year, 2022. But anyway. Oh, Lord. Um, talking about uh, the, the, you know, the dynamic between men and women, it's, it's, it's very apparent that, like, this generation or even the previous generation, we have softer men and very hard, strong, masculine women. Yes. And, of course, um, this, I won't say it's by design, but, um, this is, unfortunately, it's the, um, uh, is one of the effects from, you know, single motherhood, right? So you have these women and there's no way that a woman can raise a strong man. Now, there might be, you know, somebody's going to say, well, I know this one guy. Sure, there's always going to be outliers. But for the most part, um, a single woman, a woman cannot raise a man, you know, as much as they would like to think, they can't. So now you have what you call uh they call them son husbands right so which is uh you know these men who are raised and you know their mom call them hey this is my king and they kind of like the man of the house but they have they don't really have a good example of what that entails so you like you you said they, they you know they grew up seeing their mom cook clean kind of do everything for them so they expect a woman to do that for them but in return they have nothing to give her you know, they don't have the strong masculine provider, protector that you would expect. So then the dynamic between men and women just, it's off balance, off kilter. Like there's no, um, there's no set clear gender roles anymore. And, and to me, when you don't have that, then you have confusion, which is what we have today. So you have men who don't know how to be uh, men. And then you have women who don't know how to be women. Exactly. So the thing is that, okay, it's, it's that divide now. So it's like, I think in terms of finding solutions, right? Because like you said, um, you know, the, they have these, these characteristics. Okay. So if I'm a woman and again, I, because of my job and to get where I am, I might be a bit more assertive. Um, I might actually be making more than the guy, especially, you know, within some communities, I might be making more than the guy, you know, can I change my standards? Can I say to myself, the first thing is going to be, you know, realization. Can I realize that, hey, I'm having these thoughts about what a man should be because of what society has placed in my mind, what I grew up with, 
you know, these are just thoughts. Can, is there a way that I myself can define our own roles, you know, specific to us? Can I get together with a man and say, okay, you know, these are going to kind of be our roles and define it just specific to us. Do you think that would work? Um, so that is what we're trying these, this, you know, uh, in today's day, right? That's what we're trying to do. And, and to me, it's uh, been a horrible failure, as you can see from the divorce rates um, that has been skyrocketing, right? So I don't think that that's a viable solution in a relationship. I think that people function better when there's a, like clear boundaries, right? When you have a clear role, because then now everyone has this on there's no There's no ambiguity of what my responsibility is, what my role is. And then the next thing is uh, generals, um, they are actually biologically hardwired into us. So once you start to step up, uh, you know, outside of that, that's when you begin to get confusion, you know, and you, you start finding that either a male is trying to do things that doesn't come natural to him. So you find a guy, he's trying to take care of kids. Um, he's trying to be a nurturer. And then you have a woman, she's trying to go out and provide and protect. And that's not really her biological instinct. That's not her bi biological urge. So then you have these confusions and then, uh, you know, it leads to problems. And every, there's, if there's no clear defined specific roles, then you, then that's when you, you tend to, to have um, more problems in a relationship. And I, I don't know the exact study, but this was actually proven that uh, marriages long, last longer when there's clear uh, roles for each, clear gender roles for each, for each sex. So why, why can it be like a team thing? For example, if you're better at cooking and you enjoy cooking, why can't you be the person to cook? If I'm better with the finances, why can't I be the person to pay the bills? Like, why, why can't it be, let's look at what both of us bring to the table. And depending on the situation, we as a team determine, you know, who's going to tackle what. It sounds good in theory. It really does. And, and you could see all the couples that started. It makes sense, right? It's like, why can't I do this? I'm better. And, and you start with that and it tends to not really work out that way. As you can see, um, you can hear the countless, I don't know, countless marriages. Like I said, you could go the countless marriages. The one that usually lasts the longest and have are the smoothest are usually the ones that have specific roles. When you say specific, you mean like the traditional kind of roles? Yeah, yeah, those traditional roles. No, of course, I mean, like I said, you always have outliers here and there, and you'll find people who make, who make it work. Uh, you'll find people who, who make it work, but, um, you know, that's not the norm. Because I find that, again, in speaking to men and women, I don't feel like they're open to, um, you know, kind of bending on those kind of standards of what they're looking for. Like the women I speak to, I, I believe they still want a guy who is going to be more assertive than they are going to be the lead of the house. So if they meet a guy and you know, he might not be making that much money, he may not be that ambitious, but he's like a good dude. It's like they kind of still frown on him and they can't really respect him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And vice versa, you know, if a guy meets a girl that's really great, but, you know, she might not look the way that he <laughs> would like, she doesn't dress the way, she doesn't come across as what he'd like, I don't see him bending either. You know what I mean? So it, that's, that's the whole discussion is, I don't think people are really open like that. That's why, I mean, a lot of the single people. So, so that's the question is, you know, can people be open to that and see, you know, change their kind of perspective and be more open to people that way? You don't think so? <laughs> uh, no, um, especially not in, like, in today's culture. Uh, everyone is pretty much like delusional, uh, both men and women both of them so it's not to say like I, i'm gonna come here and bash women and be like yeah they're del delusional like men are too men are too and, and we and that's why i you know i keep going back and saying that we just don't like each other it's like you know i don't think that you deserve me and you don't think i deserve you so that's that's where we are like in a state of dating and like you just like you said um we you know we have these su such high these high expectations of our partner and you know whenever we meet anyone we are so underwhelmed because they don't live up to that fantasy that we have in our heads of what a woman or what a man should be um and then uh, when you're talking about uh gender roles then what that person should be what you're doing is you, you're trying to look for somebody to fill some void in your life that you think that a, another sex could could fill uh for instance if you're a man you're looking for someone to maybe she she could cook she could clean 
but she still has to go out and work and, you know, help you pay some bills and, um, you know, take care of the kids. And, and then you look at the woman and you want to put all that stress on her and, Nah, she's looking for somebody to kind of retire her so she can put up her feet and relax, <laughs> pay the bills. Yeah, I mean, and so you you meet you know meet each other and he's like you know like well show me some of your cooking skills and then she can't cook and then he's mad and she's like well show me your providing skills and he makes fifty thousand dollars a year which ain't doing much and you know in Miami, so both of them you know then she's mad because she got to go to work he's mad because he can't get a, a home cooked meal and. I mean, and this is just, by the way, these are just simple, uh, these are just simple um, illustrations, by the way, right? So it goes a lot deeper than that. Right, I, right, right. But these are just simple uh, uh, illustrations that I'm showing right now, but it goes way deeper than that. Yeah. So so I'm urging all singles. <laughs> I know we, it seems like, too, the older we get, it's like the more set in our ways we are, right? Yeah, so... We're getting more jaded. Um, exactly. Uh, more things to the list. It's like, um, yeah, it's, it's it's crazy out there. Like, it's crazy. I mean, uh, it is. I mean, I, I, you meet women and they have, uh, I mean, a laundry list of things that they want in a guy. And I'm like, keep in mind, you're like pushing 40, you know? <laughs> like, where are you going to find this guy? Like, if that's such a great guy, he would have been taken already. Like, a guy like that exactly. is not... Exactly sitting on the market just waiting for you and then the the problem that I, I have that we have is that we'll see somebody and they'll see one person like for instance Ciara so they'll see Ciara you know, yeah baby, the exact the prototype that we've been telling women that she will never find a good man she finds a good man now everybody got <laughs> their mind that they're gonna be a Ciara and that's you know it's just reinforcing that, you know, that, that fantasy that they'll be able to find some Russell Whistle that, that'll take them and, you know, make, make something of them. And, yeah, that's... that's, that's and we funny. don't even know if that's real. Again, that's social media. If there's anything we learn from the couples we've had on and all that, it's going to be a challenge, right? No one is just going to come in and things are going to always run smoothly. It doesn't matter how it looks on social media. So there's work to, to put in on both sides. There's compromise to be um, put in on both sides. So I think at the end of the day, singles have to ask, them, ask themselves, do I really want to be with someone? You know, if and if I really do want to be with someone, I am going to perhaps change some of these, you know, kind of fundamental thoughts I have about what a relationship is, what a, a man is supposed to bring to the table, what a woman is supposed to bring to the table. I might have to be real with myself and say, hey, I, I have X, Y, and Z, and I don't have X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel that we have to question ourselves because do we really want to be with someone? I think we get so stuck in our ways and used to doing whatever we want, just being able to be ourselves that we're not really willing to bend. So, and I think if we're not, go ahead. What are you going to say? And I'm so not in, I'm not in an agreement uh, for once in, you know, once in a blue. Ah! <laughs> 2022 coming full, yeah. full effect. Um, uh, I see you, you, you're, you're, you're getting some more, more, uh, just, just, a uh, uh, logic, you know, you're approaching this with a little bit more logic and reason rather than just emotions. So that's good. That's good. Somebody's learning. Yeah. Any, anyway, Thaddeus. <laughs> so, yeah. So think about it and say, because at the end of the day, it might be that you just do want to be single. And if that's it, don't bash men. Don't bash women. <laughs> Go about your single life. <laughs> and, or, and that, or just you just or, get a sneaky link or whatever they might or call what? them. Or just what? Get you a sneaky link. What's a sneaky link now? Man, you for somebody uh, you, you out in the dating world, you, you seem to not know. Uh, sneaky what? link is, is exactly what it sounds like. Somebody you link up with, but you you have to sneak to see them. Oh, it's like, you know, they don't know your friends. You don't know their friends. Oh, yeah, I just Lord. Them. So, so you know, you just, yeah, you just get you a little sneaky link and just, you know, do what it do. Lord, so that's even below the friends with benefits, below oh, the, yeah. the booty call? Yeah, well, the <laughs> sneaky link is like the new booty call. <laughs> Look, and are they sneaking with somebody man or somebody woman? Is, is that why we're sneaking? Too, yeah. Lord. Lord. <laughs> so yeah, so I just wanted to end the discussion on that. Really think about, do you really want to be with somebody? Are you willing to compromise? If not, then, 
you know, stay single, don't bash anyone. But if you do want to, then you do have to reevaluate, you know, what you define as being a man and woman, reevaluate what you bring to the table, reevaluate what the hell is out there, reevaluate what God has for you. You know, it might be someone that you don't expect. So we can't take that out of the equation as well. So y'all tell us what y'all think, okay? Um, are y'all still hanging in there? Are you willing to compromise? Um, are you willing to evaluate yourself and see <laughs> what's going on? Is there hope? <laughs> <laughs> four singles in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and up. Okay. 